Hello guys and welcome to engineering key tutorials. So this video regarding to fluid dynamics uh, Which is the interesting part of the fluid mechanics. So uh, In the video I will uh, derive Bernoulli's equation using Euler's equation of motion uh, So first of all we will derive Euler's equation then uh, will be derived Bernoulli's equation uh, which is essential equation in fluid of dynamics. So let's uh, derive Euler's equation of motion. Uh, first of all, let's imagine we have a streamline and then we will take a tiny differential element of this streamline. Uh, this uh, differential element of any kind of fluid as you can see has lens ds ds because in the direction of the streamline and uh, has weight uh, dn uh, because uh, its normal direction to the streamline because we are talk about fluid dynamics that mean there is motion in the fluid and the fluid is not stationary at all. Uh, so this tiny differential element has two components of acceleration. The component in the streamline direction, which is AS, and the other acceleration is normal or perpendicular to the differential element, which is DN. So, uh, ds equals to dv, uh, dv dt, and here we want the relation between the velocity and the length, not the time. So, let's say dv dt equals partial v partial s times partial s partial t, which is the same. So partial s partial t, it is the velocity times partial v partial s. So uh, a s equals v partial v partial s plus partial v partial t. And because uh, we assume the flow is a steady flow, so du dt equals to zero there is no change in velocity to respect time so du dt equals zero uh, then we have a n which is the normal acceleration to the streamline which is equals to v squared divided by r v squared divided by r it is centripetal acceleration so guys let's study the exerted forces on the differential element in the direction of the streamline as you can see we have three forces in the direction of the streamline we have the weight component which is equals to mg sine theta and we have the pressure force pressure force in the first of the element which is P D A P it's pressure D A because we want the pressure force uh, force equals P times A and we, uh, at the end of the element we have P plus D B times D A which is D B is the change value of the pressure from the first part of the element to the end of the element uh, because as you know we have different value of pressure so we have negative p plus db da because it's in opposite direction of the motion and also negative value of mg sine theta because also it's in opposite direction of the motion and we have positive b da as you can see 
uh, the value of mass is equals to rho times volume which is rho times da ds da ds is the volume so the equation is equals to pda minus p plus db times da minus rho da ds times g times sine theta as you can see also sine theta is equals to dz divided by ds from this trigonometric relation so guys let's simplify equation let's multiply da to the parentheses so we have pda minus pda minus dpda minus rho ds da g sine theta uh, so pda cancel pda and the remain is d minus db da minus rho ds da times g let's substitute with sine theta by dz divided by ds so ds cancel ds and the equation will be minus db da minus rho da g times dz uh, let's substitute equation a into newton's second law of motion uh, f equals ma so f as we think minus db da minus rho da dz g equals the acceleration as times mass which is rho times volume which is rho times ds times da and da cancel each other in the equation let's substitute so we get minus db minus rho dz times g equals to the value of the acceleration with, uh, uh, which is partial v partial s times v times uh, times ds rho ds uh, cancel ds and we get the Euler's equation of motion which is db divided by rho plus g times dz plus v dv equals zero this the final form of the Euler's equation of motion then we want to get the Bernoulli's equation or we want to derive the Bernoulli's equation from the Euler's equation of motion. It's easy step. Uh, we will take this Euler's equation of motion and we will integrate this equation. Then we will obtain the Bernoulli's equation. So the Euler's equation, the integration of Euler's equation equals integral to d p divided by rho plus integration of g dz plus integration of v dv equals constant and Bernoulli's equation equals constant because here there are assumption we will talk about in the next slide makes the conservation of this Bernoulli's equation which is equal constant also rho here equals constant because here we we, we talking about incompressible fluid uh, in cases of the incompressible fluid rho still same because after applying pressure on the fluid it's still the sa with same volume because it's sa still with same volume it's also still with same density so it is a uh, important uh, assumption here in Bernoulli's equation so let's take the integration because as we said the rho is constant let's take the rho out of, uh, of integration and g of course constant let's take g out of integration so we will get integration of db equals p course so p divided by rho plus g times z plus v squared 
divided by 2 because the integration of v dv equals v squared divided by 2 equals constant. Let's divide the equation to g. So rho times g equals gamma, uh, which is specific weight of the fluid. So p divided by gamma plus v squared divided by 2g plus z equals constant. Here we have three terms of the Bernoulli's equation. Uh, the first term is called static pressure head and second one is the kinetic uh, head or velocity head. Uh, you see, as you can see, because we have uh, velocity in this term and the third one is hydrostatic pressure head because it's depend on the height of the fluid from a specified reference that we chose uh, then let's apply the newton second law to the direction or uh, to the normal direction of the streamline we will obtain this equation uh, as you can see b divided by rho it's still the same plus the integration of v squared divided by r times dn plus g z equals constant the problem here that we need to know the values of v and r corresponding to dn because v and r are changing with dn uh, that's in cases of curvature streamlines but in cases of horizontal streamline r will be infinity as you know so this term will be zero so it will be negligible term okay okay guys so guys in the next videos we will derive Bernoulli's equation from energy perspective then we will solve tons of fluid mechanics problems so i hope this video is helpful for you and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to watch every new videos and see you later in next videos bye